going to change the front differential fluid on 2013 Ford F350. First thing I always do is I make sure that the fill plug will loosen because if that won't loosen, you're going to be kind of dead in the water and stuck stuck wherever your truck is parked. Well, mine loosens, so that's good. And uh, we will start the process by loosening all of our actual differential cover bolts. These, uh, these two on top up here are a little bit of a pain, or this one on top, I guess, a little bit of a pain. I got all the bolts, well excuse me, all the bolts except for the top three bolts out um, and uh, I am in the process of draining the fluid. Good news is that uh, this fluid as uh, wow, I mean I don't know if you can see that exactly, it's got almost nothing in it, um, it's very, it's like it's brand new. Uh, probably didn't need to change it just like with the rear gear fluid. I'm going to let this drain a little bit further and then uh, pop these top three bolts out. In fact, I'll probably take one of them out here shortly. Then uh, we're going to clean the surface and put the gasket and cover back on and refill the, the fluid. Front differential is draining um, and really close to being done. I um, just wanted to go over the stuff I'm going to be using. Um, I have uh, this 7590 gear oil. The manual does say 8090 Ford Motorcraft something. Um, I'm being realistic here. Uh, you know, want to go get it, go get it. If you don't, just this stuff has worked for 25,000 miles in this truck and it's the front differential. Um, it's it's gonna be okay. Uh, this stuff too, it's still the same stuff, but just uh, it came in the bags, um, you know, just Amazon purchase there. And now, disappointed about, so this gasket um, had to get on Rock Auto. It's like a cork gasket. The one that I was able to get last time was, um, it was a nicer gasket, uh, but it was discontinued or they didn't have it available at Rock Auto. So, um, it is what it is. Um, I'll check it, you know, after a few hundred miles and see if this thing's leaking for some reason. If it is, it's a pretty quick, you know, swap again. It's 10 bolts and a little bit of fluid. Um, and I'll try to find a better gasket. Uh, you know, it's just one of those I didn't, couldn't really tell exactly by the picture. But uh, anyway, it's about done draining. So we're going to uh, put the cover back on and start filling it back up. Okay, we're going to put this cover back on. Huh. I did put some anti-seize on these bolts. Um, Again, I don't know if you technically need to, but uh, I did. So we're going to get this thing in place, which even that's a little bit fun. Especially when you're trying to balance a gasket. Get that up there. Set that up. Get it pretty close we can there. So, oh, hold on a minute. We got a bottom hole lined up, so we'll start. We'll start there, I guess. Another hole get lined up somewhere. Uh, there's one up here, I think. Again, it's you're juggling, you're juggling for sure, but it's just how it goes with when you're one person on these jobs. I'm going to go with what the internet told me so, but it looks like the front diff cover bolts are 45 foot-pounds. So I am going to tighten those down and then we're going to do some refilling. You know, I haven't used them before, but it actually looks like I can reuse the bag because I have some spare in this gallon jug. So I think I'm going to uh, try to refill this bag with the remainder of this older fluid I have and then I've got some more flux fills to top it off the uh, fill plug as you can see has been taken out right there and you can see the open hole right there and i'm just going to be squeezing fluid in and then 
wait till it comes on out. Just like with the rear gear as well, um, be careful with being tricked that it's full. Um, you know, it, it, this in this, especially if we're in a colder environment like I am right now, fluid doesn't flow as well, it doesn't drop to the bottom as well. So just, you know, be careful and make sure you get it full. That'll be it for the front differential. Yeah.